Hi everybody, Chris Shea here, and welcome back to another video. Hold on, wait, let me just grab something. Okay, well if you're wondering what that was all about, then you obviously haven't read the title of this video. I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to create GIFs from photos or videos in Premiere Pro and Photoshop. And yes, I pronounce them GIF and not GIF because English. Before we get into it, I just want to share some fast tips when creating your source material. If you're doing this with photos, remember that you're shooting one frame per photo. Personally, I feel that 10 photos per second or 10 frames per second is pretty decent. You know, the more uh, you do, the smoother the animation will be, but remember that it is a GIF. Quality doesn't matter. You want small files to make them shareable across social platforms, so really your flip phone with a half a megapixel camera is just fine. And if you are an iPhone user, remember to turn off live photo. Also, for any camera, keep your compositions tight and use a tripod. You can make time lapse, hyperlapse, stop motions, you know, basically anything you want. And for video, just shoot as you normally would. All right, well, let's dive into Premiere first and then we'll check this out in Photoshop after. Okay, so turning a video into a GIF is something that's very simple. You get the clip that you want to use, you know, in this case, it happens to be the entire thing, but if it's part of a project, this step will work just the same. You set your in point and your out point. Press I on your keyboard to set your in point. O for the out point, you know, make sure it's where you want it. And then you go over to export. So file and export media. And then you're gonna to wanna to go over where it says format and go ahead and click on animated GIF. I'm gonna select animated GIF. And then over here where it has the uh, the aspect ratio, I'm going to uncheck that. Make sure that this is still locked, so that way it doesn't you know create anything odd. And I'm just going to type in 720 here. Really bring down the size of this considerably, so it says 720 by 405 uh, frame rate. I'm going to change this to 10. You can change it to whatever you'd like, but I'm just trying to create as small a file as possible. The quality, you can adjust that if you need to. If you don't wanna, you know, you can try it on 100. If it's too big, you can drop it down, you know, let's say 85 or, you know, whatever ends up working for you. And all the rest of the settings look just fine here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click export. If you're on a Mac and want to preview, it'll appear as a photo stack if you double click on it. But if you right click and press quick look or get info, you can see how it came out. So here's how this one came out. I think this looks pretty good. All right, so for the photo version, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm sure you guys could handle it. So I'm gonna get rid of that first real quick, and I'm gonna get my photos that I wanna use. Before you do anything, make sure that your cursor is, you know, in the beginning of your timeline or wherever you want it to be. So it's easiest if you have your photos named in sequential order. I mean, most of the time, if you're shooting out of the camera, this does this for you automatically. But uh, over here in your bin, you want to just click on Arrange by Name. And then you can go ahead and highlight all the photos that you're going to put in there. And then jump down and click on where it says Automate to Sequence. Okay, so for the ordering, you want to make sure it says Sort Order. Placement, you want that sequentially. Method, Insert Edit, Clip Overlap 0, and in Frames. Clip duration, frames per still, you can set this to whatever you want. I'm going to set this to one frame per still, because why not? Uh, transitions, you don't want any transitions on this. It'll make it look weird. It's a GIF. So I'm going to hit OK, and there we go. Everything is set up. And now the process that we use to export will be just the same as the other one. So, you know, just go ahead and file export media. Everything will remain exactly the same as before, and then go ahead and hit export. Okay, so now for the Photoshop version. First thing you want to do is go ahead and create new, then you can click on film and video. And then uh, for this one, I'm just going to do a, something custom. So for the height and width, I'm going to make that the same as what we exported in Premiere. I'm going to type in 720 for the width, and then height will be 405. Okay, great. Make sure that's in uh, pixels. Resolution 72, that is web resolution. We're going to leave that the same. Color mode, RGB, 8 bits. Everything else looks okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is with the photos. So just basically just dump all your photos onto your artboard. And then go down to your bottom background layer. Go ahead and unlock that, and we're just going to delete that. Now the very next step is go ahead and create a video timeline. If you don't see this down here, you can go ahead and go up to 
where it says window and then you want to click on where it says timeline so make sure that is checked so okay we're gonna go ahead and create the video timeline and you can see right here that it's just basically it's static it's just a bunch of photos stacked on top of each other never to fear go over here and click on this little right box here and where it says convert frames we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make frames from clips so now what we've done is now I'm going to scrub through this and you can see now it's moving. Awesome, that's step one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click that same area again, this, this little box here, and we're going to go to convert frames one more time and go to convert to frame animation. So now it has all of the clips that we're going to use. Now, you know, by default it's set it up at 0.03 frames, uh, 0.03 seconds between there, but if you wanted to change that, like let's say if you want to make it faster or slower, very easy way to do that is to click on this little box again, hit select all frames, and then uh, just click on any one of these and you know you can either click you know any of these delays that you like or you can hit other. So let's say it's 0.03 right now, I want to make that 0.05 just because. Okay, so now that that's all changed, well, now it's ready to go. Go to file, export, and then go to save for web, legacy. All right, so the very first thing is to make sure that it says GIF over here, and uh, you know all of this stuff is fine. But uh, okay, so we're gonna go over to where it says dither. I'm going to change the dither because you can see here is that it's doesn't look very good. It looks terrible. So I'm just gonna go and head and click on 100%, and you can see all of the color has been restored. You can change the colors here if you want, and you could take a look on how this is there's your color profiles there's 32 colors you can go ahead and do that four but I think you know for this uh, demonstration I'm gonna go with the 256 everything looks good you want to make sure that this uh, is highlighted over here it loops forever here's a preview of what this is going to look like that looks good to me so you don't want to hit done when you're done I know it's counterintuitive but this will actually do nothing you want to go ahead and hit save so go ahead and hit save on here okay so for the video video version is just a little bit different here so you're just going to drag your video drop it right on the artboard just the same way as before that looks okay we're going to get rid of the background layer one more time and then go ahead create your timeline now you can see this here is the video will play back if you drag the cursor along it but but because it's just one long thing, if you convert it to an animation, it will just count as one frame. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this little box and we're going to go to convert frames and go to flatten frames into clips. So basically what this does is it will bring you back to where you were before with the photos. So all the next steps will be exactly the same as before. So you go to convert frames, you go to make frames from clips. And then from here you go to convert frames again and then go to convert to frame animation. Go ahead and click, click continue. And you know, you can change the frame rate again if you want, but since it was a video, you know, I think, it, think it'll be fine this way. It's gonna keep its native frame rate as close as possible, so we're gonna go ahead and just export it the same exact way. Go to export, save for web legacy. And then, uh keep all these settings just the same way as we had them in the last one and then go ahead and hit save alrighty well thank you guys very much for watching I hope you guys liked this and we'll go out and fill the internet with a bunch of beautiful lovely new gift creations alrighty if you like this remember to leave a like comment if you have any questions I will try to get back to you on that or if you just want to say something nice I love hearing nice things subscribe if you're new here share this if you want to be my best friend in the entire world and I will see you soon take care Bye.